Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are in not really orbit, but we are joining the Kentucky Kev as it is about to make its uh, maneuver at uh, its Jupiter periapsis to complete its uh, slingshot maneuver to send it uh, on out to Neptune, which was the luckiest by chance thing I'd ever seen. Now when it made uh, Jupiter's SOI, the telemetry I guess shifted a bit and uh, what we had plotted out as a 97 meter per second burn to put it on course to Neptune turns into a 416.9 meter per second burn to put it on course to hit Neptune. And it's not even a very good hit Neptune either but uh, we will have a chance to make a course correction before it gets there but uh, really not a whole lot of a problem because we have 627 meters per second left in this primary tank. Alright, so we're roughly a, a day and seven hours from our slingshot maneuver. Um, I'm really hoping I can just nail it. I don't really have any use for the flight computer. I think all of these scientific instruments have been run at uh, both high and low Jupiter orbit, so there's no real need to really program much of anything into the flight computer. Uh, other than, well, no, there's no need to plug anything into the flight computer at all. So, um, man, why is it telling me NA on this burn? Is this engine shut down? No, it is not. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, here's hoping. So we're just going to uh, fly on into Jupiter, fl make our uh, flyby of Jupiter, and... Hope for the best. I really, I have no idea how long the sprint is going to take because it won't tell me. Oh, yes, now. What are we doing here? Okay, Kentucky Cap. I have to pay attention to the spacecraft now. I keep forgetting to remove those before I start recording an episode. So, all right, uh, here we go. Let's, uh, still no fix for, I don't know what it is exactly that makes the cloud layers do that but as we get in a little closer there it is much much better three hours wow that's just amazing all right sorry i keep slowing down the time work because i want to i want to kind of yes that that is what i wanted wow Oh, RSS, I adore you so. Alright, just about an hour until burn. It'll be, I think, right around the Terminator. Let me just slow time warp down a bit and go check the map. Oh no, it'll be squarely on the dark side. So, 43 minutes. I don't want to burn too early and I also don't want to wait waste an ignition so I really wish I could you know I this is my fault really I could have done some of the maths beforehand to try to figure this out but neglected to because I got really impatient that's why I put the uh, Mars lander on a parking orbit and just left it there for two weeks oh that's minutes not days S six minutes uh, all right still telling me NA I this shouldn't take five minutes. It really shouldn't. I'm going to wait until about the three minute mark before I start this burn. So let's go ahead and speed up. Might as well. I'm nervous. We still have another correction we can make. It's just a lot easier to do it here, you know? All right. And there's the three minute mark. Let's bring up our engine information. Very unstable. That's good to know. Stable. Ignition, 33 seconds, 25 seconds, god damn it. This engine does not throttle. How good to know. Well, I, I really would prefer not to use the thrusters. We are still two minutes off target. Uh, well, our apoapsis is zeroed. Okay. We can close that off now. 
3.3 meters per second to correct, which I'm going to angle ourselves to do and then wait until the actual burn time to make the correction in hopes that that will even some things out. I guess maybe I slowed down a bit too much. Uh, we'll just get ourselves pointed in that general direction. I wonder how much energy these... Oh, wow, they're making 9 watts of power this far out. That's not bad. <laughs> I mean, considering their distance. <laughs> All right, let's 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 check the map here. What are we doing? Hey, do we have... We have a... We have a... Yeah, we're going to hit it. We're going to Neptune. Focus. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, we're... We're a bit out there. Just use the H and N keys to fire our thrusters to try to bring this back in a little bit. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess the closer we can get to that, the better, but... Uh, all right, I think that is about the best we're going to be able to do for right now. We'll just take it in a little bit further. Good enough. All right, well, I'm at the map. That's what I... All right, and now we'll just plot out another node here at our descending node. And let's see how close in we can make this. Oh, dude, yes. Look at this. We are... Oh. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that periapsis? 669. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but hey, you know what? I, I'm going to play around with this node a little bit more. I really wonder how close I can get some of this, or if maybe, just maybe, we can, since we're going on the node. All right, let me... Yeah, how cool if we could get a flyby of Triton. Come on. Oh, I hate it when KSP hiccups a little bit and then suddenly there's nothing. <laughs> no, it's not going to give me an ascending or descending node on Triton. That sucks. Alright, well, we will plot this node for a collision course. Or something... We will tune it as we get closer because undoubtedly it will change. And man, we're we're still going to have this stage attached. Like, we still have 184 meters per second. We're still going to have our transfer stage attached when we fly past uh, Neptune. How crazy is that? Oh, wow. Are you telling me that we can break so hard off of Neptune that we can come in with a solar periapsis we can keep Kev in the solar system <laughs> oh my goodness that is amazing all right I'm gonna I'm gonna stop nerding out on this now because that's that's just a brilliant visual I love it way to go Kev <laughs> All right, and now we have our other, uh, well, yeah, we've got Goer 3 that needs to make its correct, or its uh, orbital insertion in 52 days. I guess we should go ahead and attend to that. Um, although, really, no, we can go do our Mars mission first. So, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, I'm. This is probably the best mission ever flown. 
but I'm going to go attend to some other stuff. So super sorry for the super short episode. I know this was not very exciting at all, but uh, thanks for hanging out. I, I do appreciate it. And I guess I will see all of you in the next one. Until then, see you later. Hey, y'all, as a, uh, a little bonus to kind of lengthen out this rather short episode, I thought I would just include some of the uh, what was supposed to be aerobraking maneuvers around Mars, but uh, I, I got impatient. I got impatient, and I decided to use the remainder of the transfer stage's fuel to kind of help circularize, so I only made two real passes, but managed to get the orbit down to something that I feel is pretty acceptable to give our uh, Mars 1 lander a fair shot at surviving its re-entry. So we'll be getting to that next time. This is the actual end. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I'll see all of you next time. Till then.